Hi my lovely people! Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, a warm welcome to you. So in this video I'm going to talk to you guys about some of the most recent niche fragrance additions to my collection that I'm obsessed with. I am obsessed with these niche fragrances. They have not been talked about much other than being featured in the haul video when I first bought them. Many of them have not been even talked about on my channel. So I wanted to bring you guys some amazing brand new niche fragrances in my collection that I'm absolutely obsessed with and I am kind of bewitched by them you know like I love them so much that I can't help but wear them some of them are actually spring summer scents that I can't help but wear because they're so so stunning and I'm so impatient to wait until spring and summer to wear them but many of them are actually cold weather fragrances but some of them are not some of them are spring summer fragrances so if you guys want to see what they are and hear my thoughts on these brand new fragrances in my collection just keep watching by the way before we start this video I want to let you know that at the end of this video I'm going to announce the Christian Louboutin Luby World Giveaway Winners. Yes, I said winners, plural, yes. I actually have two winners. I only promised one winner, but there are two. Both of them will be getting a sample set of the entire Luby World Collection fragrances, the little vials of each of the seven Luby World fragrances, you guys. So if you want to hear who they are, you have to watch until the end of this video. Now let's get to these beautiful niche fragrances that I've recently added to my collection that I cannot take my hands off of. So the first fragrance I have here in my hand is a fragrance from the super luxury exclusive niche fragrance house royal crown you guys oh my goodness you guys before i even get to the fragrance i want to share some amazing news with you fragrance by has restocked many of the amazing royal crown fragrances you guys including sultan which is so hard to find at discounted prices I don't think I've ever seen them. Um, you know, most of the uh, Royal Crown fragrances at discounted prices, especially Sultan, because it keeps selling out in, in whatever the place that sells them, you know, at even the smallest discount you can find. Whereas Fragrance Buy, you guys, Royal Crown fragrances tend to be like upwards of $700. I think it's like starting at like 500, 600, and then it mostly, most of them cost about $700 super expensive like the the original price right but on fragrance buy you can buy them for like 200 some dollars most of them oh my gosh i mean they have the best prices you guys know fragrance buy you know sells 100 percent authentic fragrances these royal crowns are absolutely authentic and it, it's kind of hard to believe that they're selling it the authentic fragrances for like one fifth of the, the original price. It's, they also have like other niche fragrances like Fragrance du Bois, they have like uh, Raja Parfums, they have all kinds of really luxury niche fragrances on their website. Of course, they have like super affordable designer ones as well. They have a wide selection anyways. I will link Fragrance Buy down in the description box for you guys. I bought some new ones, you guys. I'm not gonna tell you what they are now. I bought three Royal Crown fragrances that they just re restocked and they will be coming. They'll be in, a, in an upcoming haul video. So I wanted to let you guys know, I know many of you have been asking me when they will be restocked on Fragrance Buy. It finally has been restocked. I heard that they had issues with shipments because of COVID with the Omicron, uh, the new uh, COVID variant Omicron. I'm so glad that they finally got them and restocked them and not just Royal Crown. A lot of the fragrances were out of stock but they hadn't gotten their shipments and they finally have come in. Oh my gosh, I'm so 
excited to have gotten a hold of the three that I did buy but right now in this video I have a few royal crowns that I want to share with you that I'm so absolutely obsessed with so the first fragrance that I have been obsessed with from the day one that I received it the day I received it is Royal Crown Alchemia you guys this is the most beautiful I mean not to mention look at this gorgeous bottle royal crown fragrances are top quality you guys and the presentation these bottles look amazing on perfume on my perfume display oh my lord i don't want to spray these on anything but my clothes and my skin you know because they're beautiful this is the most beautiful oh oh rose fragrance that smells so uh, ethereal so feminine this to me is very much a feminine leaning royal crown royal crown has a lot of unisex fragrances and some lean leaning masculine but this right here this one is definitely feminine to me anyway i mean it doesn't mean i mean it shouldn't stop guys from wearing it and if you love the fragrance wear it doesn't matter the the whether it's feminine or masculine oh you guys it's the most beautiful rose fragrance i don't know how to quite describe it the reason why this rose fragrance smells so good is because the rose the variety of rose oil that's in here is taif rose you guys taif rose to me kind of smells oriental it's got this sort of middle eastern vibes to it that makes it smell so like makes perfume smell so exotic so this has taif rose on two different levels the opening and the middle and it's the most beautiful pretty rose scent ever i mean i know i love bulgarian rose turkish rose because they're high quality rose oils like bulgarian rose is like the most expensive rose oil but this taif rose here this is a high quality taif rose by the way i'm sure this is like the tip top quality taif rose that you can find on earth you know and this actually does have bulgarian rose as well but it's the taif rose that shines the most and it has other gorgeous feminine florals like jasmine peach blossom i believe a little bit of lily a little carnation which is quite unique you know and of course to make it smell even more oriental there's myrrh in the base and there's gorgeous ambergris that adds like this sort of sexy vibe to this fragrance this sandalwood with that creamy soft woody sensual touch and of course there's also a little bit of oud that's very clean oud again adding to that gorgeous oriental vibes of this fragrance uh, it's a rose that smells very delicate, very feminine in a very oriental kind of way, if that makes sense to you guys. I love the bottle. I, again, this is a scent that is good for, I would say, spring, especially and summer too. But I've been so impatient that I've been wearing it, you guys. I got this on Fragrance by you guys, and they just restocked it, Alchemia, at least as of the time i'm recording this video i mean the royal crowns go like this on fragrance by you guys i mean like that so i don't know if it's sold out now i haven't checked i hope it is still available yeah if you want it i'll link it down in the description box this is royal crown alchemia and one of the most recent additions to my fragrance collection is this royal crown in my hand that like blew me away oh my goodness this one is so special so unique yeah, this one is royal crown ambrosia oh you guys this one is very special i only have the like half size i think this is 50 ml um the other ones i have are 100 ml bottles this one I could only get a hold of in the smaller size, but you know what? It doesn't matter because you only need like the teensiest bit with this one because this one projects like crazy, lasts forever. So you don't need that much uh, of this. And actually, Alchemist is quite strong too, by the way. So yeah, this one, you guys, I'm not going to even sp spray this one. I didn't actually need to spray Alchemia either. Oh, that smells like over here. Can smell it over here it is so good 
you guys this actually surprised me in a very pleasant way this has honey in it and now don't get me wrong i i don't dislike honey in fragrances but i've noticed honey is not always the most um attractive fragrance note for me i still think honey adds a beautiful like layer to fragrances but my favorite notes don't include honey um but this one the honey needed to be in here it makes this fragrance so gorgeously slightly syrupy but oh, it's mm, how do i explain it it's not your average honey note that's in here like the honey in here has done wonders for this fragrance this fragrance actually smells super sexy this is a sexy sexy fragrance oh my goodness again tiniest little bit don't overspray this one this one is such a gorgeous a gourmet you guys that has that honey note in it that makes it just delicious this has like dates and there is toffee oh yum i i have come to realize that i really love toffee and dates and fragrances Ooh, can't wait to get my my other royal crown that also has dates in it oh three of them on the way you guys this also has juicy fruity notes like plum there's like melon i think in here there's pomegranate there's a little bit of a, a spicy zing from like the pepper in here but you don't pick that up very much but what you smell the most are those gorgeous gourmet notes with that syrupy honey you know with a little bit of that fruity juicy fruity hint and of course you can smell the gorgeous florals in here like iris and rose so pretty this is gorgeous woody notes like sandalwood oud there is cedar i think there's a big dose of vanilla on top of the other gourmet um notes i believe there's olibanum which is frankincense and then there's oud a little bit of oud did i say oud yeah the woody notes and there's a little bit of musk you guys who this one is date night appropriate if you want to have people ask you what you're wearing or turn heads or you know wear it to a, a on a very um elegant date night this is the fragrance for you it smells super high quality it smells like a very expensive fragrance which it is so yeah this is royal crown ambrosia so the next one is also a royal crown fragrance you guys oh my gosh i love this one too this one is the most pretty bottle out of many bottles i have in my collection you guys the color this is royal crown isabella this is from their uh imperials collection i believe you know all the fragrance that are inspired by royalty around the world you know um yeah oh, this one is so 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 pretty this one kind of reminds me like a little bit not a lot this is very different from it now again i don't want to put the idea in your head because it's hard to take the idea away once you put it in there this smells very unique it doesn't smell anything exactly like anything on the market but this reminds me a little bit of love don't be shy by killian and it reminds me a little bit of oriana by parfums de Marly. but this is like a level up from there i would say this has a little bit more complexity uh to it than those two i think um with other notes other layers and dimensions i love the fragrance composition in this fragrance you guys it's like very unique you know it's mainly a white floral fragrance but this has so many other dimensions like this has you know you can smell the amber there's amber in here there are other florals like rose in here and this is also a little bit boozy you guys a little bit boozy like a hint of booziness i love it when niche fragrance houses or any fragrance house really combine florals with booze notes because it's so good for example blossom love by amouage Mwah! that amaretto with the floral notes in that fragrance man oh man so good it's same way in here there's i believe there's rum or some kind of booze in here yeah there are florals like tuberose rose and some other white florals i think 
Um, this also has like a massive dose of vanilla with the tonka bean and vanilla that, that are in here. There's ember, like I told you. Actually, it might be ember gris that's in here. Yeah, oh, it's so good, you guys. I just love Isabella. The one thing about Isabella is that on my skin, I expected it to last long like ambrosia and alchemia. They last on my skin forever. Whereas this one lasts like a normal amount of time. Like this one lasts, I mean, I'm being like a spoiled brat here. You know, I'm so, I expect too much of fragrances because usually five to six hours, that's what you expect from a fragrance. I mean, those two, ambrosia and alchemia last way longer than that. This one lasts, I would say about six hours-ish. So it's still very good, but it doesn't last as long as the other two. That's like the one thing about it I wish was a little bit better. I've been wearing this. I actually wore this um, to our, um, when we went to see Nutcracker. I still keep wearing this, you guys. I can't help but grab it. This is Royal Crown Isabella. Another babe, a super feminine babe. I cannot live without since I received it, this is going to be one of my top summer fragrances this summer. And like I said, I have been wearing it even in the winter because I am so desperate to wear it. I am so impatient for summer to come so I can rock this. I love this fragrance. It smells so darn pretty. This one's none other than Parfums de Marley Meliora. Oh my goodness. It's not like the most feminine bottle, by the way. This is a feminine fragrance, you guys. This is from Parfums de Marley Feminine line. Um, it's not a unisex fragrance. And uh, yeah, it's, it's through and through super feminine. Oh my goodness, you guys. This is the most juicy, femininely fruity fragrance I think I've ever smelled. I mean, I've smelled some juicy, fruity fragrances, but this is juiciest of the juicy. It's a juicy one, you guys. She is juicy. Oh my gosh. And apparently, this is like Salma Hayek's signature scent, or at least one of her favorite scents. I can so see this being Salma's fragrance, you know, because that, that really makes sense, you know? This is so pretty. This has one of my favorite juicy fruity notes in the opening, you guys guessed it. Black currant, oh, juicy. This has red berries, this cassis, a little bit of cassis, which is like the leaves of the black currant, I think, which adds like a teeny hint of like green, but you know, it's very slight. And this has beautiful florals like ylang ylang and, and lily of the valley, two of my favorite ever floral notes and there's rose in here and there's a big dose of vanilla that makes everything better and of course there's musk like any sexy fragrance there's musk in here Woo! i can't help it i am not someone who wears summer fragrances in winter it just isn't me i won't do that because i don't want it to get swallowed up by winter i don't want to do the fragrance injustice but I have been so darn desperate. I bought this like as the weather was getting cold and I just, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. I just couldn't wait. And I've worn this several times and I, I'm telling you if it had been summer right now, I'd be wearing this almost every day. It, like I would wear this anytime I wanna smell super pretty and turn some heads. Uh, this is definitely a daytime wear fragrance, by the way, you guys, daytime, summertime wear. And you can, this can go from day to night. Someone asked me if Meliora and Cassili will go from day to night. It depends on where you live. Like if you live in a warmer place like, you know, um, Florida or in another country that's tropical. Yeah, sure. This will definitely go from day to night and don't reserve this for, you know, just wear it. You know what I mean? Like us over here with winters and everything it's best to to save this for warmer months and daytime wear but you know what if you live in warm weather wear this every day all day you guys this is parfums de marley meliora and i have another parfums de marley beauty in my hands you guys that i 
who loves so, so, so much. Again, can't wait for summer to arrive. Can't wait, please, summer arrive so I can wear my summer fragrances. This one is Parfums de Marley Safanat. Oh my goodness, this is a, a yellow, mainly yellow floral fragrance. There's white florals in here too and other florals. But my God, the, that ylang ylang in here. You can smell the ylang ylang, you guys. And you can smell the white florals. It's quite sweet, this one. Mm, so beautiful. Like Whenever you combine white yellow florals and sweetness, so good. There are other uh, florals, like blue purple florals, by the way, that are powdery. This is kind of powdery. And also there is some amber, as you can tell by the juice. Uh, such a pretty fragrance. There are some woody notes and vanilla, by the way. There is juicy fruity notes like pear, and there's mandarin orange with a little bit of citrus. There is gorgeous florals like orange blossom, iris, and ylang ylang in here. The ylang ylang in here is very strong. You can actually smell that gorgeous ylang ylang. And in the base, you have that big dose of vanilla, that amber, and some sandalwood. Whew, I just love this one. This is gonna be, again, one of my top, you know, worn fragrances this summer, come this summer. Cannot wait for summer to arrive. I have some stellar spring summer fragrances this year, you guys, that I cannot wait for the weather to warm up to wear. This one is Parfums de Marly Safanade. So the next one in my hands is from one of the most exclusive luxury fragrance houses in the world. It is such a long-standing, highly reputed, very prestigious fragrance house. Many prominent historical figures have worn fragrances from this house as their signature scent, you guys, like Audrey Hepburn, Hemingway, um, JFK, you know, you know the fragrance house I'm talking about. It's Kriegler, of course, and I have their latest release in my hands that I just received, and I have not been able to stop wearing it Actually, it kills me that I haven't had an opportunity to wear it outside yet because I haven't gone out yet <laughs> since I bought it because I just added it to my collection and I hauled it. I will link my haul video up here featuring this fragrance. But I've been so desperate, you guys. I've been wearing it around the house. I know it's so expensive to wear around the house, but it's so pretty. I can't help it. It is Pelle Monarchy by Kriegler, you guys, this fragrance, this is the 100 ml bottle, and this is what the bottle looks like right here. It's such a pretty, classic, beautiful Kriegler bottle. Oh my gosh, you guys, this fragrance, I'm not going to spray it, because I can smell it right here, right here. I mean, this is really good. It projects really well. This is their latest um, gourmet. This one is a very, like complex gourmet that mixes like sweet with savory if that makes even any sense to you guys like it's like a it's like a very unique fragrance you guys it's like one, some, one of the most unique gourmets i have ever smelled it's not your average everyday gourmet you know like thick heavy dense cut with a knife kind of gourmet with obvious notes like caramel or you know i mean your usual suspects in gourmet fragrances this one isn't like that. Yeah, this has like almond, there's tonka bean and vanilla. Such beautiful sort of subtle gourmet um, notes in here. There are gorgeous florals like jasmine and orange blossom. There's sandalwood in here. There's musk, there's pear, uh, and there's amber too, like a little bit of amber. So beautiful. I don't know how to describe it quite. Apparently this fragrance was inspired by the 19th century um, coffee house scene in Vienna um, and 19th century writers. There are more than 100 fragrance notes in here. Obviously some not revealed. Maybe there's coffee in it, but I don't smell it. Um, this is a very complex kind of gourmet, you know, that's why it smells so divine. Um, Kriegler's been around since 1904, you guys. Very prestigious fragrance house. This one, I was so glad to get my hands on. I got some samples with it. I'm going to do, by the way, a part two of my Kriegler house review. I did part one. I'll link it up here and down in the, in the description box. Yeah, it's one of my most recent obsessions, you guys. Like, actually, one of the latest additions to my collection. 
I haven't gotten that many chances to wear it, but I know I'm gonna wear this to death. This is Kriegler Palais Monarchy. Next I have three fragrances that I just recently hauled from Killian that I'm absolutely bewitched by. Let's just put it that way. This first one in my hand is the most delicious fruity beauty. Honestly, I mean, I know I said Meliora is a beautiful, juicy, fruity fragrance. Actually, this one is probably on the same level as Meliora in terms of the juiciness. Oh, so divine. Oh my Lord. This is the most juicy, delicious, fruity fragrance. Perfect for summertime, you guys. And it has the most absurd name that just doesn't match this juice at all. This one is Playing With The Devil by Killian. This one, you guys, is so pretty. It's actually quite the opposite of a dark fragrance. I don't know what Killian meant when it named this Playing With The Devil. I ima You would imagine something so black, so dark, you know, so naughty or something, you know, kind of dark, kind of gothic. It's not this at all. This is almost angelic. It's a very fruity beautiful angelic fragrance perfect for summer again gonna be one of my top summer scents come this summer this has got the most delicious juicy fruity notes this got some fresh and soft spices that really enhance that there's some woody notes in here some citruses this has some of the most delicious fruity notes that i absolutely love there's blackcurrant you guys know i'm in love with blackcurrant there's lychee you know how pretty lychee is gives it such an exotic fruity vibe you know there's peach with this which is another very juicy fruity note it's actually white peach it's not like the strong peach and then there is blood orange which is one of my top favorite citruses ever blood orange has it's very different from other citruses so delicious and then this has a little bit of a kick too there's a little bit of pimento there's black pepper but the that kick you can smell it but it's only supporting very underneath very much hidden under the fruity notes you know fruity notes are what dominates this fragrance by the way the undertone of those gorgeous florals like rose and jasmine really add to the fruitiness of this fragrance boy does it have the biggest vanilla dose ever with like a vanilla vanilla there's tonka bean and then there's benzoin all smell like vanilla as you know and then there's some woody notes and patchouli oh so obsessed with this so obsessed that i am breaking my own rules and wearing this in the winter which is not good because these type of fragrances summer fragrances perform much better in the summertime but i'm so desperate to wear it you guys i can't wait for summer to arrive to rock this baby um as every chance i get this is killian playing with the devil another stunning fruity fragrance from the house of Killian is in my hand this one is so stunning as well very fruity but this has a little slight undertone of a little bit of a syrupy quality from the honey that's in this fragrance which I think add beautifully to this fragrance this is Killian Forbidden Games again gonna be one of my top summer scents come this summer again I've been wearing it out of desperation because it's too pretty not to wear oh my goodness this is one of my husband's favorite too he which he talked about in our video together uh, my you know husband picked my valentine's day perfume and in that video he talked about the other top favorite fragrances from my collection his top favorites i'll link it up here and down in the description box yeah you guys this is a very sweet fruity honey vanilla fragrance with some fresh um nuances to it there are juicy fruity notes like plum apple peach um there is a little bit of spices in here there's rose geranium jasmine rose and geranium go really well together and then you guys i think the base notes are what makes this really beautiful with the other notes in the fragrance there's a Nox, which is one of my favorite uh, both some resin notes. There is a huge dose of vanilla in here and there's honey. I think they really add to this fragrance. The peach in here to me almost smell like 
mixed in with the the honey almost has like a mango kind of like feel to it a little bit it's one of the best killians in my opinion i featured this in my killian collection video too go check it out i'll link it up here and down in the description box yeah gonna be one of my top summer fragrances again been wearing it because i can't wait for summer to arrive this is killian forbidden games the next one that i'm obsessed with I'm actually quite taken back and surprised by this because the original of this fragrance I don't like as much but the extreme version in my hand again from Killian I am obsessed with this is so sexy my husband finds it super sexy too he said that in the in the video I talked about this one is Killian Good Go Gone Bad Extreme not the original don't really like the original and I've talked about the reason many times it just has like a weird undertone Ooh, but not this one this one smells so beautiful so sexy this fragrance has osmanthus which the original has too beautiful osmanthus there are some white florals like tuberose there's some like uh, i think narcissus in here too it's got a little bit of rose there's amber there's a little bit of a hint of, of greenness in here which i'll get to here in a second so you guys uh, this extreme version doesn't have the same green note that's in the original in my opinion because in the original i don't like it because the green note whatever the green note that's in the original that make it mixes badly with the osmanthus in the original whereas in here the green note that's in here really doesn't clash or doesn't mix badly with the osmanthus and also this one has milk in it that i think moderates whatever that quality the original had i love this one it has like that kind of milky vibes from the milk this has some other beautiful florals like jasmine and rose there is i think ember in the base this vanilla which every sexy fragrance has yeah you guys it's really beautiful that milk really moderates whatever the quality that original had that i don't like this is beautiful very sexy 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 fragrance kind of like a head turner you know so i've been wearing it because my husband loves it on me you guys so i've been kind of wearing it around the house i know it's too expensive of a fragrance to wear around the house but can't help it can't wait for summer to come can't wait to go on many date nights and outings with my husband this is killian good girl gone bad extreme next i have a stunning tuberose white floral scent that is well known and and very much talked about um it is a very creamy creamy smooth tuberose white floral fragrance from Giorgio Armani you know the one I'm talking about it's from the Privé line this one is a Rouge Malachite of course oh my goodness you guys I was waiting so long to add this to my collection because this is been i think discontinued or some crazy thing which is weird because they did restock it at neiman marcus which is where i got this from but everywhere i've been searching for this fragrance forever and i couldn't find it and one day i saw on neiman marcus when i was doing christmas shopping that it's being restocked like it was back ordered i'm like yes i jumped on it faster than i could blink you guys it was funny seriously i was like panicking ah, order, order, order. fast 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 so yeah this one is such a creamy smooth white floral uh the tuberose is the star of the show if you are not a fan of tuberose don't get this fragrance you can smell this tuberose that creamy slightly bubblegummy tuberose you know this also actually has some yellow florals that's kind of backing up the white florals in the background but the yellow florals are not very prominent at all in this fragrance what you can smell the most is that tuberose uh, if not anything and then gorgeous woody notes of course i believe this has like a, a benzoin with like a little bit of vanilla touch and cashmere which is again perfect for a creamy fragrance it is the most smooth creamy white floral i have ever smelled and it deserves the hype that it it got yeah i don't know why they would discontinue it i blows my mind this should be mostly a spring summer fragrance but i've been wearing it there again because i love it then i have a fragrance from joe malone of all fragrance houses well, i wasn't 
a big fan of Joe Malone fragrances because they make fragrances that are of colonial concentration, which is like the lowest oil concentration. And I thought to myself, why would you pay such exuberant prices for that kind of oil concentration, you know? It should be extrait the parfum at those prices, right? But there is something to the house of Joe Malone that's quite nice. They they have that Joe Malone DNA. Um, and especially if you buy the black ones and the red bottle, then yes, they are the, the entrance, Cologne entrance. It's still not good as, you know, eau de parfum or extrait de parfum, but still it's, it's good. I'm quite surprised by how much I love this fragrance. This one is Joe Malone Scarlet Puppy. This was such a pleasant surprise, you guys. I did not think I would love this fragrance and be so obsessed with the way I am. It is so darn unique and the fragrance composition is very unique and it has a fragrance note in here that I don't have in any of my other fragrances in my collection and that is poppy. So there's poppy in this fragrance, you know, the flower poppy. Uh, I can actually, even though I have, I don't know if, you know, poppy is actually a natural fragrance note. I don't think so. I think it's a fantasy fragrance note just like cyclamen is you know cyclamen is also like a, a floral note that's a fantasy floral but I can tell which one puppy is I can smell it in here even though I haven't actually smelled what it smells like before but I can tell which one it is in here if that makes sense this one has like fig in here which is again another fragrance note that's like a, a fruity note that I don't have in very many of my other fragrances I think I have one other in my collection with like yeah luby luna is the one that i have uh in my collection with fig in it and actually i have i think one other i forget now which one but anyway this is such a, a very unique fragrance composition that smells so good it's kind of like has this addictive quality about it you just kind of want to keep spraying it on keep sniffing it it has like a big dose of vanilla it's quite powdery it's got like quite a bit of musk in here so yeah it has like amberette musk mellow you know there's that poppy and a gorgeous fig note in here with oris which is a powdery fragrance note i think there's heliotrope in the base too which is also powdery it's a blue purple floral that's powdery and then it has tonka bean with that vanilla uh, vibes and then this has barley you guys I don't know I think the barley I mean although I can't smell the barley per se I don't even know what that would smell like I can tell that it's this sort of like dimension to the fragrance you know it is I, I, kind of hard to describe this one I really really like this and this is a fragrance you can wear in the colder months too and I've been wearing it quite a bit I don't know if you guys can tell like I'm already you know like uh, this much done um, on the fragrance I've been wearing it quite a bit I, I love the color I love the bottle and I'm regretting not buying a full-size bottle this is I think the 50 mil I should have gotten the 100 mil yeah this one is Jo Malone Scarlet Puppy I have three Zerja fragrances that I just recently added to my collection that I'm absolutely obsessed with. So the, the next three will be Zerja fragrances. So the first one is one that my husband finds absolutely sexy, you know, gorgeous. He was like, his eyes rolled back into his head when he smelled this for the first time. I love to wear this on like date night kind of occasions. You know, it's like super, super sexy. Great for like a night out, even though this is quite a bit of a, a fruity fragrance. This one, this is one that's appropriate for nighttime and, and cold weather because of the leather that's in here, you guys. Yeah, this has a sexy, sexy leather cord in here that's to die for. This is none other than Zerjoff Muse. Oh, whew, this one's a good one, you guys. Oh, I mean, not to mention, look at that velvet bottle oh man like so beautiful this is so strong i mean you can smell it here this one projects like a monster i mean telling you it's that leather in here you guys that's absolutely sexy and makes this such a strong beast of a fragrance you know this is quite a fruity fragrance but instead of like 
you know the usual juicy fruitiness that you get from fruity fragrances this one leans very much like sexy and 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 strong and beast mode you know um so this is not fruity like you would expect a fruity perfume to be it's not a juicy fruity fragrance you know like Meliora here you know super juicy juicy fragrance juicy fruity fragrance that exactly what you expect from a fruity fragrance usually you know that you wear it in the summertime you know spring summer kind of fragrance not this one this is a fruity fragrance that's super dense super strong super beast mode you know very sexy with the leather note so this is like taking the fruity fragrance and and making it like super strong and sexy you know and this also has a, a massive dose of amber it's very ambery fragrance this has got patchouli which is quite strong as well and it's a little bit balsamic again it's a very sexy super sexy fragrance this has plum uh, you guys also has strawberry so quite juicy fruity notes but they're not the star in this fragrance if you ask me it's that you know um leather sexiness the herbly sexiness this also has ambery sexiness it's like a huge dose of amber in here there's benzoin which is also another resin note that's kind of little vanilla like you know that adds to the balsamic um resin vibes of this fragrance beautiful sexy 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 through and through fragrance very much hot date night out kind of fragrance even party kind of party out clubbing kind of even fragrance it's super sexy head turner this one is a zirjaf this one is a zirjaf muse next i have another zirjaf that's super ambery this is like an ambery fragrance like sexy amber fragrance this is in my uh, top amber fragrances video. I'll link it up here down in the description box. I actually forgot to include Muse in it, which is also a super ambery fragrance. But anyways, yeah, this one is Serge Off Overture. Beautiful balsamic ambery fragrance, you guys. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. It's quite a warm fragrance. Got a it's quite a bit of warm spices you can smell it's sweet it's got a lot of vanilla in here as well a little hint of green touch a little bit of citruses too but you can barely smell it this is gorgeous floral notes like rose ylang ylang jasmine but that those are not the star of the show in this fragrance if you ask me it's myrrh myrrh dominates this fragrance this has gorgeous floral notes like rose jasmine ylang ylang but if you ask me those are not the star of the show in this fragrance it's that amber it's the incense that's in here the sort of oriental smoky vibes this fragrance has it almost smells like it has myrrh you guys it's not one of the listed uh fragrance notes but i'm quite positive that this has myrrh it might be the incense giving it the myrrh vibes but yeah it definitely i feel like has myrrh this has like warm spices like cinnamon there's that sensual sandalwood um this has a fig leaf which is what adds that slight hint of green again it's just in the opening and disappears right away really you can't really smell the greenness per se very subtle and it disappears right away mainly this is very much an oriental smoky incensey like myrrh like ambery fragrance if you can imagine that quite ambery quite balsamic beautiful fragrance for nighttime cold weather type fragrance this is Zerjaf Overture. So the next fragrance from Zerjaf is a beautiful fragrance that smells very vanilla. -y. It smells very vanilla, -y, but vanilla is not one of the fragrance notes that's revealed, but I am very certain this has a massive dose of vanilla or it could be a resin that smells like vanilla like benzoin but yeah something vanilla in this it could be tonka bean and benzoin or just benzoin or vanilla um yeah but it's not a revealed note this is a zirjav ivory root this one you guys so beautiful again it smells very vanilla like you know a uh, very vanilla smelling scent but you can tell it's a beautiful woody kind of fragrance it's kind of balsamic a little bit 
it's got some patchouli some herbaliness to it a little bit of like a you know spicy hint to it as well and it's quite the warm spicy fragrance you know very very warm so you guys this fragrance is all about the spices in a lot of ways it's like a, a spicy vanilla you know um, smells like vanilla and spices vanilla is not a revealed note but i am very positive there is either vanilla or benzoin or tonka bean in here yeah, this has like a ton of exotic spices, you guys. I'm surprised they haven't revealed the vanilla-like note in here because it smells very much like a spicy vanilla, you know? I am obsessed with this. I've been wearing this a ton this winter. It's very much a cold weather perfume, if you ask me. If you wear this in warmer months, wear it at nighttime. Yeah, this one's Zerjaf Ivory Root. Next, I have the latest addition to my collection from Inicio Parfums, you guys. This one is sexy. This is one of my husband's absolute favorites. He just goes, ah, oh, when he smells this. And it's aptly named, this one is Inicio Parfums Psychedelic Love. It's definitely very addictive kind of fragrance. The name makes, oh, makes sense. This has myrrh in it, you guys, oh, so good. It's a very kind of powdery, like yellow, white floral kind of scent. Other florals too, a bunch of florals. And it's quite the spicy and woody fragrance as well. It's very balsamic, of course. So this has beautiful florals like ylang ylang, Bulgarian rose, heliotrope, hedion. And then there's that sexy myrrh in the base with sandalwood that's very sensual sensual base very balsamic i have been absolutely obsessed with this fragrance this is very much a cold weather fragrance i would say nighttime wear been wearing it straight you guys i've been wearing it non-stop every chance i get yeah this one is inicio parfums psychedelic love by the way you guys i got all these three the surge offs and the inicio parfums um psychedelic love everything on fragrance buy if you're interested in them i will link them down in the description box for you see you guys it's time to announce the christian louboutin luby world collection giveaway winners i have two i only promised one but i got so many of you commenting wanting to enter the giveaway that i just had to get a second set for one more winner you guys because there were so many of you who really wanted to experience test this luby world collection amazing luby world collection fragrances so yeah so here it is here's the first set in this gorgeous lacquer box so this one has all seven fragrances inside i haven't really opened the boxes so as you guys can see in these little tiny boxes you get you know seven vials with samples of course luby world samples all seven fragrances so that's for one of the winners and the winner of this set is drum roll please i'm gonna put it up here on the screen it is Yay, congratulations to you. Please, please let me know your mailing address on Instagram. Message me on Instagram and let me know your mailing address so I can send this to you. Congratulations, I am so happy for you. Thank you for entering the giveaway. I really appreciate you watching my channel and commenting on my video, entering this giveaway, and sharing my fragrance enthusiasm. And you guys, I have a second set, same vials. Now listen, this set doesn't look like the other set in this big giant lacquer box, but this comes in a tiny shiny uh, lacquer box too. It's actually wrapped in, um, uh, tissue paper this one came wrapped like this I purchased this on Christian Louboutin website same seven vials they are just not boxed in individual boxes inside the big lacquer box but it's the exact same size vials all seven of them this is the next set again it's wrapped in tissue paper and I don't want to unwrap it to show you guys maybe i can unwrap it without breaking now it's gonna break so it, it's like this red lacquer box just like that but smaller of course but it, they're not in individual boxes which is why the box isn't huge it's, but it's the exact same size 
seven vials of Christian Louboutin Luby World Collection fragrance samples, you guys. So this is for the second winner, and the second winner is, drum roll please. congratulations I am so happy for you again thank you so much for watching my videos and following the rules of the giveaway and entering the giveaway and uh, commenting on my video sharing this fragrance enthusiasm with me let me know your address on Instagram so I can mail this out to you as soon as possible and by the way happy Valentine's Day to both of you I'm so happy I was able to get two sets and not just one for two lucky winners so you guys, with this giveaway, there were so many of you, like I said, who wanted to enter the giveaway. Overwhelming amount of people, actually. I had a lot of guys who watch my channel who entered this giveaway, which they don't usually, you know, comment or anything. I wish you guys talked to me a little bit more often because we would like to hear the male perspective, you guys. You guys never say anything. Speak to me. Speak to me. Comment down in my videos. Anyway, thank you for entering the giveaway. I have heard a lot of you from a lot of you so that's why I got two sets uh, of samples to give out because I just you know I had to pick another one I kind of narrowed it down by those who actually followed the rules of the giveaway the rules were that you had to subscribe to my channel like the video comment down in the video you know telling me which one is your favorite Louboutin or which one sounds like the one you would love and then you know go on over to Instagram follow me on Instagram and then also subscribe to my beauty and makeup channel then I realized that last rule you know go on over to my beauty and makeup channel and subscribe that's not really fair to the guys I realized after seeing how many of you wanted to enter the giveaway so I scratched that rule so the only rules I took into consideration were the subscribing to this channel commenting liking the video and following me on Instagram really it doesn't matter if you subscribe to my makeup channel or not I scratched that rule because it's a disadvantage to guys because most guys would not want to be watching beauty and makeup videos and I understand that it's disadvantageous to you guys and I don't want to you know make you subscribe to a beauty channel that you don't want to but I did take the other ones to consideration and and narrowed it down you know uh, based on who actually did the giveaway rules and then picked a winner using a random name picker you guys because it's just just too difficult for me to pick a winner just I just can't do it too many of you and I want to give you each of you a set if I could seriously if I could afford it I'll give all of you a set of these because everybody deserves to smell these gorgeous fragrances from the Christian Louboutin Luby World Collection. So that's it you guys, those are my gorgeous niche fragrances that I recently added to my collection that I'm absolutely head over heels in love with, obsessed with can't stop reaching for so i wanted to bring you guys some new fragrances and talk about some new stuff that i'm absolutely obsessed with so share with me your recent niche obsessions down in the comment section i would love to know if there are some fragrances that i've missed out on so i hope you enjoyed this video you guys if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell right next to it for all notifications so that you will never miss one of my videos also don't forget to follow me on instagram you guys where i post everything from this channel and my other brand new channel which is a beauty and makeup channel by the way cleo beauty go on over there subscribe to that channel too and show me some some love there as well you guys again i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you guys in my next video